Greetings, happy friends, and welcome to the MTG Struggle Bus, where I do a whole lot more struggling so you can do a whole lot less. But today, we're going to be doing some premier Midnight Hunt drafting. So without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? All right, let's see what we got going on here. Let's see, Incentric Farmer, solid pick. Uh, Defenestrate, that's a good way to start the draft, as well as a Cathartic Prior. And then a Fateful Absence seems like a pretty decent way. We like being white, uh, and uh, you know, it is solid removal. Fast speed gets rid of just about anything. So we're gonna go ahead and start off there and see where this pack takes us. I've seen to be able to get into white quite a bit usually. Uh, borrowed time that's another solid removal spell uh, goes with our faithful absence so we like that camel trap i think it's fine i know some people are a little lower on it but i think it's fine uh, candle grove witch and olivia's midnight hunt are also considerations for me in this pack i like burly breaker as well but i don't think it quite compares to borrowed time especially when we already have another white card so yeah I think we're gonna go ahead and snag that one up starting off the deck strong hopefully white maintains being open the rest of the way a candle trap coming by uh, let's see we have it ooh uh triskedefile triskedecafile uh startle and revenge of the drown all solid cards in blue uh i per don't particularly care for homestead courage Thar's call either that card has been very unimpressive with me even in the black white sack deck i feel like it's a little clunky still uh candle trap but yeah i mean we don't mind being blue white no um spirits or disturbed cards in this one but once again there is plenty of blue here so far uh so yeah like and we can easily splash that guy i've splashed it before in previous decks uh for the late game to just start drawing cards um mm. This is where it looks a little rough for us right now. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't particularly care for Secrets of the Key. I think it's a little slow. Component Collector is okay. Cathars is okay. And Unblinking Observer as well. Uh, there's a Siege Zombie, but would like to hold on to white a little bit longer if possible. So I guess we just take the Clarion Cathars for right now. But like I said, uh, the... Trizka deca file, Trizdeca file, file <laughs> can uh can easily be splashed. So yeah, I think we'll just hold on right now. Kind of maybe stick to white and then potentially in pack two kind of identify what our second color is. Uh Delver, I don't think is very strong and limited. Uh Shipwreck Sifters though kind of goes with the uh blue white spirits deck if we can get there though granted we haven't seen any of the powerful white one drops so that makes me a little worried um i don't mind a brimstone vandal i think that's fine crawl from the cellar and harvest tide century probably the two stronger cards in the pack so we can take sifters here we could take sun gold Gr barrage and I typically only like one of these in my deck to be honest with you uh and they go by pretty late here so I think we're in all right spot. I think we could either take the Sentry to go maybe green white, which we haven't seen too many signs about that. We could take the Sifters or we could take the Crawl in the Dark. So we'll just go ahead and take the Sifters here. Uh, let's see here. All right, another Startle, uh, Gale Drifter and Sun Guide Griffin. All solid cards here. Man, I'm halfway tempted to take the Startle here uh just because i feel like we only want one griff and we can get that so i am gonna take the startle here um it could be the wrong choice maybe it is gale drifter but i feel like both these cards go around pretty late so we'll just go ahead and pick this up and see where we're at here uh another sifters Ooh, man that's a late diagraph board very late I almost want to take the sifters, but I think I am going to take the diagraph cord here. It could be a mistake. I haven't been paying attention to too much black, but I can't imagine this card wheeling right now. So we'll go ahead and take it, see where it puts us at. Uh, and then Eden Live. All right, I'm starting to feel like at least black is open on the other half of the table, which I mean, they got through so many people to get to us. So yeah, we'll take Eden Live here. Maybe we end up going uh, uh, black white, which is a color combination I do not mind here. 
Uh, Silver Bolt's pretty much the best card in the pack for me. Uh, I used to like Ruffian a little, to be honest with you, a 6-5 for 4 seems pretty good. And he comes up the board fairly well, so I don't think it's a bad card, but I mean, Silver Bolt can just go in any kind of variation of the deck we decide to go in, so we'll take that. Um, uh, and then once again, there we go. We could take the Sif Shipwreck Sifters um, or Barrage, either or. Um, I really don't know what our second color is right now, to be honest with you. Uh, we can get one of these late, so we'll just take the Sifters. I like taking two drops aggressively. Just sets you up for success in the late game. Uh, nothing going on here. I guess we can take the Courage, though I really am not looking forward to playing it. Don't care for Skull either, so I guess we'll just take the Ruffian. Just in case fire ends up being open. Yeah, they go pretty late as well. So we'll see in the Homestead Courage. All right, kind of iffy, to be honest with you. It's gonna be interesting to see where we kind of go from here. Uh, let's see. Hoblin Zombie, Stormkirk Thief is pretty strong. I like that card. I, I wish I had Evasion. Uh, Bless Defiance, I've definitely come up on. I do think this card is pretty impressive. Morning Patrol though. Uh, it's kind of honestly I feel like the best card in the pack for us just because we're not quite sure if we're diving into black just yet um, so yeah I think I like a morning patrol facilitates the sifters as well as just being a solid three drop so I think we're gonna go ahead and take the morning patrol for right now see where we're at here uh, clear shot well shoot organ hoarder uh, they took the rare so obviously that's not too huge of a pick uh, let's see bless defiant angler but I mean, yeah, we don't mind being a blue white. Hopefully we get hooked up on this direction. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna take Oregon Hoarder here. They really do go around very late. Uh, plenty of black in the pack. We're no green for clear shot. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take the Oregon Hoarder. See if we get hooked up a little bit more. Uh, I got excited for a second. They realized it's simply Faithful Mending. Uh, Trapper, I am not. I know this card is very powerful, but I don't know. I feel like the decks I draft, it's been a little clunky. Uh, man, actually, I'm kind of on the fence here. I feel like... Hmm. I, I don't like Bereaved Survivor. I feel like card's pretty mediocre. Uh, we could splash for a Flesh Taker. That card's pretty strong as well. But at this point, I have no idea what went on at the end of that pack, honestly. And if Blue White's open, I think... I think I'm going to go ahead and stick to blue white for the time being uh it could be a mistake i may regret it i like flesh taker quite a bit but we'll play a little conservative here and see what happens another bless defiance sunrise cavalier so it looks like fires open in both directions but we're getting fed decent cards here um so i don't think i have to kind of dive in and i personally haven't had the most success with the uh, boros to be completely honest with you <laughs> yeah it's uh had some busted red white decks that just didn't quite get there so we'll just take intruder i mean this card has lost a little bit of value just because i feel like the majority of people play around at this point uh, i think we'll take a cathar commando here it's a late uh blade stitch scob as well siege zombie it looks like so we're getting past like this is the black that uh wasn't taken earlier just don't really know I want to maybe I'm holding on to white a little too much. I'm not 100% sure. There are the, like we lose the sifters if we go black, right? So I'm not 100% like this is interesting. Uh, I think I am just gonna take the two drop here. Oh, then a right of oblivion. Oh, that that hurts. That hurts a little bit. That card's really sweet. We don't have too many token generators though, so it may not be as good. It's, we haven't gotten much fixing either. Could take the Candle Grove Witch here. That's probably the right play. Let's go ahead and take the uh, Rite of Oblivion and see where we go. Uh, being a little greedy there, I will admit. We'll take a Gavney Darn Dawn Guard. 3 3 for 3 with some upside. Let's just go dig in a little bit. I think it's pretty solid. Uh, Black should be clearing up here. Let's see. Uh, nothing in white, nothing in black, nothing in blue. Uh, we could take a blood pack. Well, no, not really. I don't really want to play any of these cards. Uh, 
guess we could just take a Cathars call just in case. Not really thrilled about that either though. Uh, this is the pack the wheel, the flare of faith, I guess we can take. Rotten Reunion is oak. Okay. I've, I've come up on it. I think that card is pretty good, but also we do want to be some variant of white. Ooh, all right, sweet. Plus the violence reeling is really sweet. I like this card. I think it's very easy to make a lot of units trade up, especially with things like uh, Morning Patrol that you still get a unit out of it. So I'm happy to see that. Oh my gosh. Flesh Taker and Trapper came back. So do we, man, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the Flesh Taker here. Maybe we do Audible into Bless Defiant. I think we may end up just going back to uh, splashing the uh, Decafile. Sure, I'm not excited about that guy. He's been barely mediocre here. Ugh. Look at this pack. Jeez Louise. Uh, I think we're just gonna take the Infernal Grasp here. I think we're really gonna try to go black white. The oh. Varage Fuss Master is so good too. You hate to open it not being green. That card's really powerful. Typically can win the game when it comes down. There's Olivia's Midnight Hunt or Midnight Ambush as well, but yeah, we're just gonna take the grasp here. And I'm really looking for like fire cards or uh shadow. Let's see. Could take silversmith or could take interloper we're a little low on two drops especially if we are gonna end up cutting and just splashing for like maybe i don't even think we could splash to be honest with you our fixing is pretty medium castaway would be a good pick as well we're gonna get quite a bit of yeah i think i'm just gonna take the interloper here oh my goodness you guys seen this oh you hate to see it you hate to see it. Uh, cultist with no awakened. And those cards are like definitely strong green. Uh, shh. Let's take this. Yeah. I like twos. Uh, Traveler versus Midnight Hunt. Let's just, I guess, be the removal deck. Not super thrilled. I feel like I would have liked a little more sack fodder. Uh, these packs have been very interesting, to say the very least. Very interesting. Could have maybe drafted a little bit better. I'm not 100% sure. There's really nothing here for us with the switch. If we still. I don't think we're going to, though. Shady Traveler to make our uh, Midnight Ambush a little bit better. Beta Angler, but we'll definitely take this Siege Zombie here. Novus or a Patrol. So we didn't miss out on one. Um, yeah, wow. It looks like green was wide open. Thankfully, someone jumped in there and didn't let it wheel. Like, it's just crazy. Uh, oh, man. I would have windmill slammed that if we were remotely in green but we just weren't we didn't take a green card up until this point somebody this draft got hooked up though that's for sure still nothing they end up passing the barrages and they get one but if we're going black i think we're gonna have quite a bit of removal regardless so yeah blade brand may no actually i think we're good i actually think we're good so this is going to be interesting. Um, man. I'm not, it's odd, right chat? Like it was weird because we saw the, the, like some very powerful shadow red uh, black cards come in late, which kind of made me believe that maybe someone, I just didn't, I didn't expect those to wheel, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we should have, I definitely don't think we should have been green uh it, it just didn't feel that right to me i think keeping the decafa 
deca yeah deca file is correct i don't know why that's giving me so much trouble uh defiance let's see commando absence flare may actually be the cut because we have two defiance and eaten alive a silver bolt so that's four pieces of removal five six seven eight um man i'll be honest with you though this deck does feel pretty medium if i'm being completely honest with you chat um just because like we don't have any of the really good one drops with disturbed so maybe that should be a signal of not to be in white um not quite sure i i think it was i think it could have gone several ways for sure um but you know sometimes you just kind of got to go with the flow and see where it takes you so we'll find out i don't think the deck's horrible um i definitely probably value removal higher than most people um and i wonder if this is actually a 16 power deck our curve's fairly low i like to hit our power but maybe it is maybe this actually is and we could put in another unit um just to kind of up our count since we do have we do want to wax the sack stuff we actually have like no real other than uh other than our uh whatchamacallit not flush taker oh i guess horde diagraph horde also gives us some more sack fodder but it's gonna be interesting and then the interloper feels so out of place it's kind of funny but We'll take a look at it. Let me finish doing this real quick for you guys, and then we'll uh, figure out exactly where we want to be uh, unit-wise. I got to look at the rest of our pool, but I feel like we're just going to put an extra body in there to give us some more sack fodder. So that's 17. All right, let's go back to our pool and see what we got. So Cathar's Call versus Flare of Faith. And I guess we could splash Warrior Hoarder. Is that like too greedy? If we had a card, another card that made zombies, I would probably put it in there. So I guess that's a consideration for. Hmm. Just don't have anything that's crazy good to put uh, Cathar's Call on either. I think that might be a little too cute, right? Startle is a consideration, but I feel like we have enough interaction. Let's, I guess we just put Oregon Hoarder back in, and I think we're okay to drop a shadow. Seems a little wonky. Blade Brand, eh. We already have kind of Defiance, Bless Defiance that does that. And then Blood Pack, I'm particularly not very high on that card. I actually believe in like the other one that makes people discard and makes a zombie. I feel like this format's not, I mean, feels a little weird, right? Because there is, uh, there is flashback in this format, but sometimes you could still nab some pretty decent units and whatnot. So, I don't know. Let's head down to the game, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game one. And no two drop and two power. Our opponent goes first. I mean, it's kind of already a mulligan because of a uh, decafile. I think I am gonna mulligan. Yeah, I like this one better. I like this one better. We could go ahead and tuck the organ hoarder. It is a way to kind of get back up on cards, but overall, I think this is going to end up being the better play. Um, to start off with Swamp, we're going to follow our curve, go Interloper into Morning Patrol. And if their champion gets a little too hokey or crazy, we do have Borrowed Time to kind of mitigate that a little bit. So let's get on the board and send it back. Oh man. It's gonna be interesting. So far we're in a decent position. Of course now we're drawing all our power, but that's all right. So I think it's okay to run the morning patrol out here. Um, if they do have the flip the switch, we still can disturb it the following, excuse me, the following turn. So I think that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Yep, there's the flip the switch. Um, I oh, I guess I that's right. I guess there was an argument to maybe not do that because of the champion getting the token. So that makes sense. Or the plus one, plus one. But, I mean, 
still got something to do next turn. Getting in damage. If our opponent wants to counter it again, I guess, I mean, that's all. We really don't have anything to do right now. So might as well. See what's gonna happen here. Another flip to switch, okay. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> Uh, luckily, I mean, they burned two cards for one. They did get some bonuses. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of this guy with a full value in a lot of link. We're at nine now. We're looking pretty bad. Uh, just pay full price. And we're probably not going to attack here. Okay, <laughs> man, all right, well. <laughs> Remember I called this the struggle bus and now you're seeing exactly why, chat. Holy cow, triple uh, flip the switch. Yeah, that's legit. That is legit, my friends. All right, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and attack. I wonder if we fire off this Defiance if they have the end of turn 3-3, uh, three, three, right? All right. They don't have it, but I, I think it was worth it to have that cushion, honestly. Um, foul play, okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can come back from this. Would be nice if we can come back. I mean, our opponent like rocked our world, not gonna lie. Uh, all right. Does this resolve? It does, all right. We're on the board. We need to draw fairly well though. Um, that's kind of scary. They mill our fresh, our flush taker, our Allah, and then we drew a land. Man, not what we wanted to see here. Send it back to our opponent. We may still be out of luck here. Um, Fine strike wouldn't have worked here, right? That's fair. If our opponent doesn't do anything. We still have two more turns. Yes. Okay. Let's get in there. And then we'll force them to use their power. Uh, and I'm really not the biggest fan of... Uh, almost kind of want to use it on our guy to draw, but this guy can kill us. So I think I'm going to wait. Oh, you know what? That, that They don't use their power this way. That was my fault. And they get to draw with plenty of power up, which is not great. <sighs> We're gonna need to draw something here for sure. Man. We almost got there too. That foul play uh, came in handy. They're in the tank. That maybe bodes well for us. I'm 100% sure. No plays. Ah, oh, now we got the right. That's unfortunate. Uh, and they get a zombie. Uh, is that better? It gives us another unit. I think we still decline. I feel like there's better things in our deck, right? Uh, falling to two. I think we do fall to two. We need to keep this to remove whatever they play. Okay, well, I guess so we don't die. <laughs> uh, exile that. Sack that. Man, that, that hurts. That hurts, chat. Not gonna lie. We're getting outplayed here. We're at two.
So we're at one. Uh, well, we weren't gonna cast that anyways. So that mill kind of helped us. Do we get there? Do we get there? I mean, we have to draw a unit. They could just flash. Oh, oh man. No, I mean, can we do both? I don't think we can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, uh, man, it just got outplayed. Sacrifice a non-land permanent. See, we still die even if we play that. Oh man, that's harsh. One turn too late. Just one turn too late, unfortunately. Opponent just, uh, man. And one power. Oh, did we bottom a power somewhere? I don't think we did. Yeah, unfortunate. Opponent played really well. We just didn't. What's that? Oh, we did. Yep. Good game, opponent. All right, well, 0-1 so far. Let's go on to the next game, guys. Game number two. <clears throat> and uh, nope, can't really keep this one. I, uh, I have faith in our deck, but I don't have faith in my luck and Murphy's Law. So we're gonna go ahead and ship this one. I don't really quite feel like uh, Olivia's Midnight Ambush is gonna hold down the fort for us. So we're gonna ship it. And uh, at least we got some plays here. So we're gonna keep this one sending back, man. I guess we send back the card we can't play right now. Even though borrowed time, man, that's rough. But at least we have some plays here once again. Obviously Interloper gets us on the board a little early. Uh, that's decent draw, unfortunately the way we mulligan, but man, that last game, if we had that, one turn sooner i think we would have got there but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes so we'll see You're gonna still follow out all right uh let's go a little well we could draw the uh cavalier or the uh you know uh double white card so we'll go ahead and still play our planes here i don't think we're gonna get too much advantage by not showing our opponent our second faction uh brutal cathar Okay, well, uh, guess we just ambush it. I think that's better than uh, uh, grasping. I'd rather use grasp on a, on a more powerful unit, right? Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> ah, could I be any worse at this game? Yes, I'll pay the life. Silly Jedi. Oh, now you know what I meant about struggle blessing chat. I always forget that he's a, a werewolf. I don't know why. And we took damage, so that couldn't have worked out any worse for us. And they have... <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. All kinds of bad. All kinds of bad there. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> so let's see here. I mean, they're in every color that can respond to this, but I think we got to do what we got to do, right? Oh, fair enough. Only having to pay one for it. Let's see if they have a follow-up. Ah, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, There's really no value in just getting that dead. I mean, I guess we could play this dude. He could block. That guy will get in there. This guy just trades here. All right, sure. And it's not on attack, it's enters the battlefield. 
Promise chat, I know how to play this game. I really do. I really do. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but I promise I'm gonna play this game. <sighs> Man. So let's see here. I don't think we can trade because we need the, the outlaw to block here. Dragon seems pretty solid. Primal doesn't do anything for us here. Uh, that's going to start picking off our dudes. This is looking pretty grim for us, even with all the removal. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I guess we just have to play out. I wonder if I should have attacked with the zombie. Just to see if we got it through right. Maybe we gained a little bit of life here. All right, I, I feel like we're just kind of dead skis here one way or another. Uh, we are gonna double block the menace, take eight, and then die in the air. But I think we have to block the you know menace right now. I just, either way, we, we need removal for the dragon. Interloper of their own, and we draw power. Unlucky. All right, let's run it back. On to the next one, guys. Welcome back for game three. Let's see if we can scrounge up a win here. Uh, on the play. We can zombie. If we draw any card, we can play outlaw. I mean, might as well. I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but I mean, at this point, we can't get any worse, right? Our back's already against the wall. Let's go ahead and play that, send it back. All right, there we go, there we go. I like that. All right, Siege Zombie coming down. Want a little bit of fodder when we play Flesh, uh, flesh Taker. Let's see what our opponent's got going on right now. Pest and Wolf, okay. Fair enough. Uh, don't think we want to trade here. I think we could just go ahead and play Morning Patrol, and then that should be able to get in the damage we need to trigger Outlaw. Uh, would like to see, like, one more power before we bring down the Flush Taker. I want to try to not trade if we can help it. Opponent looks to potentially be stuck on power, or, correction, uh, stuck on, uh, Mana screwed. So let's see if we can capitalize on that. I don't know. Well, taking it is good. We could trigger this. Is that better than that law? Kind of feel like it is, honestly. A bit more damage. We start the day night cycle. Looks like they may have a clear shot here. Ah, okay. Fair, fair. All right, all right. See if our opponent decides to go into the red zone. I think we just take it either way. We, we have the stronger board here. Like we could pitch the morning patrol here, right? But I don't, I don't think that's correct. I think we just take the three, ping them for one, and then we can attack we have a decent attack next turn right if they want to use the uh they want to use ooh, that's not bad for us either because now if they want to use like the pump here or the deadly we can nature's grasp it or we can actually just defiant and then still play an outlaw i like that we have flesh taker we have a couple options here so i think i am just gonna attack here see what our opponent does Yep. And then we can, let me think, here and here. We could just nature's grasp it, but then being justice, I think we just do, actually we just don't do anything. Yeah, I think we just let that happen and then play two dudes so we could still ping. I like that. I think that's fine, actually. So, oops, almost the wrong one. 
Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. It's double black. Awkward. Guess I should have thought about that a little bit sooner. Uh, then let's go ahead and just get this guy down. Probably a little clunky. Maybe it should have been Flesh Taker there, and then we can Nature's Grass. Whatever they play at the end of the turn. Yeah, because this guy's not really evasive. Let's see here. Ah, See if they trade with something. Okay. Makes flesh take her a little more appealing. Maybe I should be more aggressive. So I'm, I really don't want our only win to be our opponent being stuck on power or mana. That would make me feel pretty bad. All right, I feel like the getting's good. Let's just kill this. Get in there. Play this dude. Oh, did we have lethal? No, we did not. We did not have lethal. All right. Well, we got there. Sorry for that being our first one. Let's head on. All right. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> um, sure. This could be a mistake, right? Because this hand just kind of doesn't do much. Pretty defensive, but we literally have like a one, two, and three play. Gum up our opponent, so we'll see. I would like to be on the board a little bit sooner, get some more damage in there, but what are you gonna do, right? Uh, there's also an argument to potentially not play Silver Bolt right off the bat, so maybe our opponent can play into it, but I think there might be some actual equity there to, uh, you know, essentially. Uh... wait i mean I, I feel like the jig is up but uh let me yeah actually i think we're just gonna kill this now all right cool that that kind of worked out in our favor they uh would have liked to see a white source there but we'll uh we'll take a two drop that can make some play so they had no two there i was just kind of worried about them potentially triggering um you know when the opponent takes damage doing some stuff and things so Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get our own guy on the board. I think development is a little bit better than... Um, I may actually even block with uh, Siege Zombie here. Just because they openly ran that out. Okay, fair. Take three. Just kind of potentially worried about something bigger. So I think I'm going to block here. It's a pretty aggressive block, but I, I want, like, we know we can kill that, right? Versus Silver Bolt may be able to kill something bigger. Um, we do get punished if they play. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, it's funny how karma for the last game, I guess, right? Our opponent got stuck, and uh, now we're stuck, uh, which is unfortunate. Now you guys see why I like to mulligan aggressively. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, man. Like, I, I normally mulligan pretty aggressively, at least to get to six. Going down to five, I'm really... I, I start to really... Because, I mean, even, you have to have, like, a pretty good hand to come back from that, in all honesty. Um, we can do double here to get both. No, we can't. We're stuck on white again. So I think we're just going to commando, get one of these guys off the board, take four, and then hopefully don't get too punished. 
Okay. Huh. That's really interesting, honestly, because like now that's significantly easier for us to kill. Our morning patrol can trade with that, right? Yeah, I actually think I'm going to block... I think I'm going to block here. If they do something to remove it, then we could just sacrifice it to get rid of the emulation. We're taking a little bit more damage here, but then, like, we have more cards that could block and kill that. Get rid of dudes right now, or we just play Morning Patrol and leave up Faithful Absence. Uh, we may actually Diagraph Ward here. Because then we have access to Eden Alive. Oh, wait, we could just Eden Alive that. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. We're just getting Eden Alive. We still have Faithful Absence, but I'd rather not give them the, uh, the card value, right? So we took two points of damage that we didn't need to, unfortunately. here would like to see our uh you know let's go ahead and eat this now i don't think they have anything that can get back so they may be sandbagging the uh let's see let's stop that from coming back and it's either moon slash or foragers they are black i think there's a higher chance they could get a unit back Versus getting a spell back. Uh, so they could pump this once, right? So we still can... Alright, well they can pump it twice now. Oh man, alright. Um, we have to block because we're too low of a life total. Okay, okay. I will take that. Happily. I will happily take that. Um, I think we just kill this now to get in i'm just trying to figure out no we still have right of oblivion so i think we hold on to our zombies so let's go here play this and we are just gonna go ahead and get rid of this so we can at least get start getting in for three now So we were able to withstand the initial onslaught. Okay, fair. I'm all right with that. Get to draw some cards. We still have plenty of removal in our deck, if I recall. So. All right, uh, let's see here. Can we do both? We cannot. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Silly me. that uh, let's do this and then we'll still just get in for uh for three here um of course now that i'm sandbagging these zombies you know there's a high high probability that uh <laughs> you know um we could could simply pass the turn but I don't think that's correct. We're probably just going to double block that, honestly. And just hopefully our card advantage can kind of get us there. So let's just go here and swing. There's a chance we could have uh, gotten in some extra damage. Okay. Ouch. That's a little rough, actually. Hmm. Huh. 
Good call, opponent. Good call. We're just shy of being able to trade with both. Hmm. I feel like the menace is the problem, honestly. So I think... Ugh. Like, just enough to ruin our day, huh? We could double block here, and we lose both of our guys as well. That can't be right. I think we just have to take this hit and hopefully draw something. Uh, that's not what we wanted to draw. That is awkward as well. This guy's going to be... Okay, so we could still block here. This guy's going to deal some damage. We're going to get some life back. We can attack here because that can't block. Oh, but they get to crack back, so that can't be correct either. Still got to hold out. So I think we just go here. It's in the back. We'll be able to block here as long as they don't play a werewolf. I think we have to take the two. What's the flip side of this? The beginning of your upkeep and champ player sacrifice an online permit. Then that player loses one life. And they're going to put that on that. So I think we have to take the two here. We get four back though. So we're not in horrible shape. We get a one. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. What'd they draw? Land? All right. Yes, yes. All right, all right, all right. Let me see. So four. So let's play this. And then I think we still draw and that leaves us power up. Quarter, okay. Uh, let's get in for... No, because we want to sack this. It gains us a life as well. So... I guess, no, we want to do it. Yeah, we want to do this after. Uh, I think it's still correct like this. I could be wrong. I could be extremely wrong here. Power again. Yes, that's what I like to see. You get there. Yes. Whew. Man, that was a close one, chat. It was a close one. And we took two extra damage that we didn't need to because I mean, we didn't know we were drawing the land, the fifth land. So I think we played out. Overall, not too bad. Not too bad. That game. All right. Game number what? Five? Five? And we actually have a opening curve. And we're on the play. We're going to keep this one, chat. Let's see if we can get there, huh? It's going to be an interesting one, right? This is probably the best hand we've had so far. Now, whether we can capitalize on it or not, it's an entirely different story. Definitely felt the difference not having uh, the one drops that go in the black white deck for sure, but you know, it is what it is. We'll see if we get there or not. <clears throat> All right, power's looking good so far. Can we get a primal? Get a, we get a island off the top. That would be sweet. Going up against the mirror. I think think we're okay to curve out uh i'm gonna swing if they block i'd be extremely surprised we're gonna go ahead and play a morning patrol uh, we'll see what our opponent does i would like ideally to nature infernal grasp in response to them like sacking to try to block our mournful patrol so we'll see if we can get that from them Three colors, all right. Easy enough, easy enough. Man, an island there would have been fantastic. Let's get our free attack in, see what our opponent does. I think if they block there, we're fine with that. Just take it. Cool. So, I guess we let them make the first move. <sighs> I 
like I said, if we could potentially, I mean, it's like not really a two for one because they do get to gain a life and scry. So it's more like a card and a half maybe roughly, but still, we could eat up some of their fodder. And I could be wrong. I could be wrong, right? Maybe this is a world where we just wanted to pick it off as quickly as possible. Okay, all right, fair. So, I think we kill this guy here, because then we can borrow time here. And that might be wrong. Like, there's easily a, ch a world where this is incorrect, because our opponent Oh, they're gonna get to go dig a little bit deeper as well. I just think like reanimating Grizzly Ghoul might be a little worse than reanimating Flesh Taker. I could be wrong. I don't claim to be the best of players, but we went down to 16 power as well. 16 land and we're still kind of not quite flooding because we have plenty of things to do, but we'll be in a little bit of pain if our opponent uh, drops like... Okay, main deck return to nature. That is legit. So I think we are darned if we do, darned if we don't. Come on, Let's see if we can at least break even this draft. Uh, they get to go dig, oh, cause they play two, yeah, fair, fair. Uh, so looking at here, yep. Uh, Keep playing our power out. Play wolf. No sense in attacking just yet. Start nudging them for one at the end of their turns. Really, at this point, I don't. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. That's that's a card. That is a card. Super cool opponent. I like what they got going on here. They got some goodness going on. Oh my goodness. Uh, we have removal. We have quite a bit of removal. Let us see if we get to it. We've burned two of our premium removal spells, but we're not, we're not dead yet. Uh, double block here, I feel, isn't that great. Especially when this guy could potentially flip and block it on its own. So I think we can take the four here. Then nudge them. It's not looking good for the home team though, chat. It's not quite good enough. Uh, it does let us kill Grizzly Ghoul. Attacking here doesn't do anything because they just block here. So... We just kill the ghoul at... They don't have Coven. Could flip our our dude, but I don't think it makes a difference. They're kind of capitalizing on that. Gonna hold for a turn. Is there any benefit to waiting? I don't know. I don't think so. So, because if they have like a pump spell, right, then that just kind of blows us out of the water. So maybe I should have just fired it off there. I mean, we're in a bit of a pickle. There's no doubt about it. So what we need here, we need like Olivia's Midnight Hunt plus... I keep saying Midnight Hunt. Midnight Ambush plus Diagraph Colossus, right? I mean, I could say that maybe we should put Fourth fourth Island in our deck, but the problem is, is that you already saw two games where we were stuck with the island that we didn't need, so. 
Our opponent's in the tank, which doesn't bode well for us. One card in hand. I mean, what are they, what are they trying to contemplate here, right? Oh, they just look at their void. Their graveyard. Alright, go to attacks. Let's see what you got cooking. What you got cooking? We have to do this. This is interesting though. Why are they sacking the Sanctifier versus the Ghoul? Oh, maybe they have the, the humans uh, are, you know, invulnerable or whatnot. Indestructible this turn. But I mean, we have the Silver Bolt to hit it in response, so. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I don't think that's it either. They're trying to figure out which one of the two they want to kill. I mean, you just kill a Shady Traveler. Maybe we should have just... Yeah, okay, yeah. Maybe we should have blocked this way so we could bring back the, the patrol and the patrol can block that. Yeah, so I'm actually going to wait. awkward now of course we would have flipped it and it could have blocked by i mean it kind of still blocked by itself so i don't think it made a difference so we kind of need this dude to do oh and i didn't activate i missed one point of damage i went so deep i uh i missed the point of damage Let's see if they they block this Yeah, I mean, it made a difference. Them being at 10 versus 11 could be a difference later on. So I'm wondering if they attack with Grizzly Ghoul, if we just double block or if we Silver Bolt. You know what I mean? I don't think, I think they're just gonna peg us in the air here. Because I, I think the jig is up with our plan. Yeah, either way we blocked. Um, we weren't going to lose the patrol. Because if we went Siege Zombie, Morning Patrol, they would have just put the two here first. And then two would have rolled over. Yeah, that's, uh, that's solid. Okay. I think we, uh, we might just be dead anyways, chat. It's, uh... Not looking good for the home team. Uh... Gosh darn it. <clears throat> Old stick fingers, man. It's, uh... Guess we gotta do this. I still think that's... I mean, I think we're just Dunskis, honestly. Organ Hoarder just looking pretty horrible in our hand right now. Uh, four and three. All right, we have just enough, but, and we can chump block old stick fingers. <laughs> sure. I don't think it's gonna matter. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> well, at least our opponent gets to do some cool stuff this draft. Oh, man. I almost feel like maybe we should have just train wrecked our deck to, uh, to get the old, uh, the old, um, oh my god, I'm driving a bike. Huntmaster. <sighs> you just A space here. Yeah. Yep. Math checks out. Math checks out. I don't think our deck has the uh, the equipment necessary to uh, to survive this. Wait, it's 
Overwhelm? Oh, shoot. So we're just dead anyways, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> hey! Uh, we can jump block one. Good game. Oh, man. All right, guys. That's going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, friends, for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, as always, happy gaming.